What was it like growing up with the effects of the hangover of depression? Or where you could not have your choice of foods? Probably that has affected me mentally to make me decide that today if I wanted a hamburger or a steak, that wouldn't, wouldn't be a choice. It would be whichever one you wanted. Whereas a treat for us growing up, Father would find in the Royal Oak Tribune a coupon that would allow us to have five hamburgers at White Castle for a quarter, a nickel apiece. And that was, a, that was an extreme treat. Consequently, we grew up liking pancakes and beans because they were cheap. Pancakes took the place of bread. And uh, even though bread was under a dime a loaf, it was still a dime. Milk was under a dime a quart, but it was still a dime. I can recall so vividly the newspapers and the, uh, the paper being delivered when they had a special. We didn't have television, but boys would go through the streets with papers hollering, extra, extra, read all about it. And so news was generated in that way. And when they went through with the extras, explaining what happened, not why or how, but what. And of course, at that time, in 1941, America, the United States of America, was thrust into the war. Once I built a railroad, made it run, made it race against time. Once I built a railroad, now it's done. Brother, can you spare a dime? <laughs>